Let's have a deep overview on how to use PPG Finder. In order to facilitate this demo, I will use both Android and iOS simulators. Also, remember the app will automatically change the language settings to English, the default language, Spanish or Brazilian Portuguese based on your phone settings. After major updates or when you use the app for the first time, you'll be a request to allow PPG Finder to use your GPS information, send you messages and access your photo library. When you start the app for the first time, you must log in with Facebook credentials or create an email account. Using Facebook is the easiest way as PPG Finder will automatically get your name and picture. Remember that PPG Finder does not interact with your Facebook data nor your friends. It just connects with Facebook to get your credentials and picture. However, if you decide to create an email account, enter your email and password, then click Create Account. If you have created an email account in the past, use the login button instead. The app will only ask you for credentials again when you update it. After logging for the first time, you'll be redirected to the settings screen. There, make sure to enter the nickname people know you. Avoid entering jokes like, I'm the big man, if nobody knows you as the big man. This is the name people will interact with you in the main dashboards and across the app screens. If you connect with Facebook, you see your picture there. Otherwise, PPG Finder will set an icon for you. Then, pick an icon that matches your glider color. If you are outside the United States, you probably need to change your selection to metric system. Below that, pick your favorite map style. Keep the auto zoom selected if you prefer PPG Finder to auto zoom in while you are close to the origin point and other pilots. Disable that and you will be in charge of manual zooming. Click the update button to save your preference and be redirected to the main screen. The dashboard is your main screen. This is the area you are going to be to redirect every time you start the app or update your settings. The big map shows you a blue dot in the middle. Yes, this is you. It's important to mention that you can zoom in and out and or rotate the map using your fingers. The area above the map shows you flight duration, flight distance, by the way, these fields will only start when you have started your flight, and altitude. Below that you have, at the left of the glider icon, your wind direction estimation. And this is calculated based on your flight speeds and, as its name says, just an estimation. Always look for wind direction signs while flying, like smokes, trees movement, and flags. At any moment, click the taxi area and it will restart the calculation. The right side of the glider icon shows your heading. The blue area is a great resource when you are lost or not sure how long it will take to return to your orange, meaning you, the place you took off. You will see the heading to the origin point, how long it will take to get there, and how far you are. Lastly, you have your speed, the big number, and your maximum speed while flying, which I will show you later. The Big Start button allows you to manually start a flight or make you visible to others. Since version 1.1.7, PPG Finder will also automatically start a flight when it detects you are 5 meters or 16 feet above ground with a speed over 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. It's important to mention that without starting, you cannot see other pilots, neither be seen by them. You may also have notes you can navigate to the dashboard, sets, and flight log pages using the icons in the bottom navigation bar. PPG Finders excels when you click the Start button. Promptly, the interface will change showing you active pilots around you, meaning those ones logged in the app. It also draws an orange icon at the launch location, so you can also see where you start your flight, besides the info provided in the blue area. When you took off, PPG Finder automatically sends a message to all users inform you have departed. Let's discuss the three buttons in the bottom bar now. The left one sends a message to every user informing you are returned to the orange. This is particularly interesting when you are flying without or having issues with your radio. The right one sends a message to every user informing you had an engine out. This message will also come with your location, 
So anyone available to rescue you can simply click it and get the directions to pick you up. The middle one is the most used one. It tells you how many active pilots are around you. In fact, around you in a radius of 25 miles or 40 kilometers. Click it or the entire speed area and you see them in detail. Take a look and see the following information about the pilots flying around. Their picture and nickname, plus their glider colors, how far they are from you and their heading. In the simulation, for example, Peter Chambers is 0.1 mile north-northwest of me. You can also see their flight performance, showing their heading, altitude, and speed. This is great info when you are trying to understand why someone just passed below you flying super fast. Maybe we'll just need to decrease a bit and get some breeze at our lower altitude. Click anywhere outside the list and it will close. PPG Finder tries to increase your safety changing interface color based on your altitude and wind estimation. For example, when you are in a land approach or flying really low, meaning you are flying below 80 feet or 24 meters, this screen will become green if you are flying into the wind, yellow if you are flying crosswind, red if you are flying tailwind. Again, this is based on the wind estimation, which should also be considered with external factors. When you click the stop button, or when the app detects you are stopping, you are going to receive an alert asking to confirm you have really finished your flight. Having the ability to say no is a great feature when, for example, you are flying across country, landing to say hello to some friends, but will still fly back home. Finish your flight will send you to the flight stats screen. It also sends a message to users informed you have landed. In the screen, you have all the statistics about the flight, including duration, distance, maximum altitude and speed, plus average speed. The map shows you start and finish points. On Android device, you will also see the flight path. The big red button can be used when you are not interested in keeping the flight recorded. Every flight is saved in the cloud, so no matter the device you are using, you can get access to your data. The flight log page shows all your past flights and provides basic information like when it was done, duration, distance, and maximum speed. Just tap any flight and it will be redirected to its flight stats page. Now that you know better about PPG Finder, help me to spread the news with other pilots and enjoy your next flights.